Hey guys, so I have a box of Space Marines here. Basically, bought all my McFadden figures. I tend to group them up in boxes because there's too many boxes. And I don't want to keep too many boxes. I also have this battle sister here. So, uh, I've got some, you know, painted the regular releases as, as they were. I have another box where I put all the, you know, I guess the more evil groups like Ox and the uh, Necron and stuff in a, in a Chaos Space Marine in a different box. So, but more on those uh, next time. I got the, I guess this is the most classic Ultramarine, right? So this one's painted. I really like these black ones. So I got like one of these. Actually, bought another one by mistake and then I sold them off again. So I only have one. I have a red one here, the blue head, because it's just like a really cool color scheme for me. Um, I, I forgot which gun goes with who, but whatever. So, but I also have a bunch of these like uh, blank space marines. And I, I've been struggling with thinking like, hey, what kind of like color or whatever, you know, I can I can paint them in. Um, so I got these different weapons. I got these regular pulse rifles, I guess, and this giant oh, Mr. Freeze like gun. So I have a painted one here. So I guess I could paint this kind of the same as this one. So that, that's easy. I'll paint these uh, rifles the same as, uh, I don't have another rifle, but I know what these weapons look like, you know, like a little red, uh, the red ribbon there, gold and metallic gun, whatever color. So th these are fine, but the actual Space Marines, um, yeah, how am I gonna, I've got three of these, like what colors am I gonna paint them? So uh, I, I literally went online and, and Googled like, uh, hey, um, who are the nicest Space Marine chapters? Because, uh, in the grim dark future, there's only war and assholes, pretty much. So, who's like the nice people? Um, it's not really anyone that's good guys. So, I, I looked them up and said like, Hey, some people say some of the nicest ones are the uh, Salamanders and the Lamenters. So, I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, these guys are nice guys. So, uh, and I quite like the green. Uh, I'm not sure if... I think it was a Bandai that released the green one. Maybe McFarland released the green one too. But uh, I was kind of curious about painting. So I'm going to get one green one, one yellow one, Lamenter or whatever. And I still have one more. So like what kind of like coloring I'm going to give this guy. And I was thinking like, okay, uh, I'm going to, since my channel's Digger, especially on my plushy Digger from Shirt Tales, um, I'm going to paint one of my remains. There's two options. I'm either going to paint one of these in the Kamen Rider classic color, or I'm going to paint one of these in that bigger color. So I'm thinking I'm going to come right. I'm going to paint a Kamen Rider Space Marine. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put these, uh, give these a hot water bath, take them apart as much as I can, and, uh, you know, get a toothbrush or some soap and wash them a little bit. Now, these ones feel, the texture on these feel a little bit rough compared to, like, DC McFarlane figures. So I'm thinking maybe these are already, like, ready for some kind of painting, but I'm not sure. Um, so I'm not going to bother that because I'm going to spray these with primer and I'm going to spray uh, the base coats on all of these and I'm going to add the details on afterwards. So I'm going to see how much I can take these apart as much as I can, I hope, and yeah, do that with these. Now as for these guys that are already colored, uh, they're nice, but they're very basically colored. So for example, this blue there, I'm guessing that's meant to be like sort of growing, glowing energy, so I'm going to go with some metallic blue on that, uh, just to make it a bit brighter. And, uh, you know, these, uh, I'm pretty sure these belt buckles need a little bit of paint. i um, gonna add some detailing on some of these little shield pieces. Uh, these are gonna need a lot of metallic coloring on extra some of these. So, yeah, I'm gonna try some of those marker pens I did on the uh, DC McFarlane figures just to see how they go, how well they stick, uh, just for our test fix up some of these like not as nicely painted bits on all of these add all the silver bits because that actually sticks quite well and and see how that goes with some of these and if, if I do need to um, give these a wash just to so things will stick a bit better I'm gonna do that and all of these little gaps and stuff yeah I'm gonna put in some contrast paints in them or some shading in them just so highlight these little lining details on all of them maybe the bus on the boots all will get like a black paint job on all of them um, that's what this guy does. There's a bit difference between like actual black and uh, sort of like a contrast black. So a shiny and a matte sort of differences on some of these bits. Uh, she definitely needs more paint details. I can tell just by these little bits. Even I, I can't imagine the actual colors 
in my mind, I'm looking at this, I'm like, yeah, this needs extra colors. I'm looking at this ribbon there, that must be a different color at some point. So this looks a bit too plain. Same with the red one. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of extra details I can add to these. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so I disassembled everything. Most of it was quite easy, pulling the uh, backpacks, that's what detached in the first place. Pulling the legs out from the sort of from the side, you see this little peg there that goes into the hip piece. So you sort of like twist that a little bit, pull it out from the side. And once you pull both legs out, the hip piece just kind of comes down. Uh, torso actually comes off quite easily from the upper torso. I uh, just use this little tool, slide it in there and just pop, pop them all up. Heads, just use hands to pull them out. Uh, hands a little bit tougher. Uh, I was pulling them out by holding onto the thumbs because that's like an extruding bit and just really wiggle and pull it out. Careful you do not unpeg this joint. Uh, so if that happens, you just slide it back in and pull it at a different angle. Uh, these uh, little elbow pads, they all glued down, but they all come off relatively easy. Just rip them out with your hands. And then finally, the shoes are a little bit high. You see some scratch marks on them because basically what I did is I put, uh, I levered this tool into the back of the leg around here. And so keep it in flat because the problem with pulling these feet out just with your hands is that it's on a ball joint that's just gonna rotate around and you can't get strength on it. So uh, what happens is you uh, put this in and try to lay it as flat as possible on the shoe side itself. And then you get your hand on lever and then you put pressure on the toes and just pull it out. So you're yanking it out and using this metal bit as like a flat hard surface. Removing the neck piece is actually quite easy. You just put like some sort of hard metal tool down this slot here and then you put it to the side, just go up and it's okay. You don't even damage any of the plastic uh, that's seen. At first I thought these pieces were like like to hinges, but no, they're also on a different bulb joint and now it's out. So that should be a lot easier to paint. Okay, it's uh, three o'clock in the afternoon in Hong Kong in the summertime. It is currently about 35, 31 to 35 Celsius. And so I've just washed all of these, scrubbed a little bit with toothbrush and uh, dishing wash uh, liquid, uh, dishwash liquid, and I'm just gonna let them sit out on the balcony to dry for a few hours. And then I'm gonna uh, masking tape some of the joints and prime everything. So first, this one, this black one here, dirty up the helmet, add a bit more silver coloring, dirty up the shield there, and uh, repainted the belt brown, add a little bit of silver tips there, uh, dark silver detailing on the back of uh, his little jump pack or whatever. And, and that's it really, not too much be painted with him because he's mostly black, he's just dirtied up a little bit. So move him to the back right there. Oh, I also painted the silver and put a black wash on it. On this little uh, crucifix skull thing on his arm. And did pretty much the same thing with the two others, just dirty them up a little bit, add a little bit more coloring, silver details. I did repaint his gun a little bit. A uh, gauntlet detailing there, gold and red and wash. Painted up his sword with more detailing. And I did dirty up his boots, just the boots though. Black detailing there, um, metallic. Did a little bit of line paneling work, not too much, and little back details in the grooves and such. Quick look at the back. Hmm, I should serve up these two little skulls in the pouch, but uh, dirtied up his uh, jump pack as well. I didn't want to dirty him up too much because he is, I guess, a classic blue, as it were. So, yeah. And the uh, final simple repaint is with this guy. I did paint this gun a bit more uh, there. The uh, wax symbol, gold, and the metallic colorings. Dirty them up. Uh, and filled in all the gold detailing, metallic detailing. I also painted in some of these dents that he has there. Uh, a little bit of wiring detail in the back. And so yeah, just little bits of details here and there. So these three are mostly touch-ups. I did do like little corner scratches on this, like some of the smaller models. Just experiment, see how I like them. Yeah, they're okay. Uh, I don't want to dirty these guys too much, as it were. Uh, I know I have. Uh, they see them a lot, but you know, I still want them to look like damn fresh kind of thing. Let's move on to another one that was uh, still just a touch up, but uh, a big touch up. So we have a battle sister, and you see she's way. If you know the original figures, you know she's way, way different. Apart from just a general dirty wash, I, I repainted the inside of her cloak into like a contrast red, and I added these little ribbon details, uh, metallic. Detailing all of on the centerpiece, this piece here, uh, on a 
knee pads we painted her gun as well as her sword and the jump pack and dosed up our white ropes and stuff so yeah so silver gold dark metallic brown for the belts and pouches washes on everything so she looks so so much different than how she did uh from retail and now uh, when i got her from retail i got her for cheap i was like oh, i can see the black um battle sister figure that sounds a little bit hard to find so i picked this one up and i was like when at first i didn't like it too much i thought the coloring was just a little bit too off for me i was like it doesn't look good at all but uh why did i even get this for the uh, after i repainted it all um with everything the red looking a lot darker now less plasticky and for the extra details that are highlighted out to all the different colors she looks really really good now in my opinion like this is like, i like this figure a lot now the helmet is still a bit goofy to me maybe i'll swap that head out for like a helmetless one but she looks so much more awesome now all the tiny little silver bits that i've added to uh the rest of her Put this short down, miss, and stand next. Now, we're gonna move back a little bit because we have three more Space Marines here. Uh, all of them were repaints of artist proof figures, so they all had no color to begin with. And then, what I did was I googled who are the nicest Space Marine factions, and two of them were the Salamanders and the I forgot, I already forgot the name of the other one. Basically, the greens and the yellows. So we have a full green marine here, all dirty up, the gold logo there. I freehand the fire on his shoulder pad and this wolf in there. Uh, gold detailing there, metallic detailing on the blue and the black and this. The gun all done up, the pouches all done up. So these figures are quite hard to paint and quite hard to reassemble, even when you use a hair dryer. So, they're not that, I want to say, beginner friendly. I, I washed them in soap water, I primed them, but they were still quite hard to uh, paint and, and put back together. Especially the joints, I'm not sure. The, the joints still keep scratching the paint off. And uh, I know, I, 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 if you know the technique on how to, uh, you know, keep the paint from coming off these figures even after I primed them please uh, let me know so yeah it's a mixture of using citadel paint as well as uh, these colored marker pens that i found recently that are very good for miniatures and well these bigger figures i like them a lot so this is my green space marine uh, so i've got red blue green and black so it's almost we'll put them there for a christmas view <laughs> and uh, yeah i got a yellow one here this was kind of cool uh a lot harder to paint, but cool once it's done because yellow is one of the hardest colors to get put on anything. Um, it's a very weak pigment, as it were. So lesson learned: uh, don't do yellow. But uh, now that I, I have done him, uh, I'd spray him with multiple coats of light coats just to get the yellow to sit right even on top of a white primed figure. There he is, uh, silver and gold in the middle. Again, a freehand this one. Not as good as the green guy. I messed up the top. I'm like, mm, that's not working out. But uh, I painted the gun the same way. I painted that little red thing on his knee. I think that looks really cool. And uh, yeah, once again, pouches are painted. That's painted. I didn't paint his belt. I didn't. Why didn't I paint his belt? Maybe I just thought it looked okay in yellow. Mm. Um, yeah. So the worst parts of the figure to put back together and pull apart is. Uh, the, the feet, they're extremely, extremely tight, as well as the uh, the um, underwear area to the uh, tummy. That Those two pegs are really extremely hard to do, um, to put together. Now, I have one more Space Marine, and uh, he is not an actual fraction color from the uh, canon, I guess you would say that. Uh, but one of my favorites, I decided to paint a, -da -da -da, a Kamen Rider Ichigo Space Marine. Um, silver boots, silver glove area. It's got the red on this belt and the green, different greens. Um, and the light, very light blue uh, and red eyes there. As well as uh, some extra, you know, silver detailing on him. So, 
Yeah, this is my, yeah. Kamen Rider Ichigo Space Marine. So, you know, the Kamen Rider, what? He technically called maybe the Shocker Fraction from, from the uh, dark future of the uh, millennia. So, Shocker still exists. And uh, they've infiltrated the Emperor's uh, team, and Shocker is going around making uh, space marines with Kamen Rider technology. In fact, that's my canon now. All the space marines technology came from like Shocker and Kamen Rider, so they can like enhance humans. That that's his story. So yeah, he's my favorite, of course. Um, so out of all of these, put when you put all of these together, I enjoy. The colors a lot, the variety and stuff that you can do with these figures. Now, I will say that despite being artist proof, you do have to prime the figures. And even after you do, especially around the joints, paint still rubs off because the, the way the plastic is done is tight. And there's such a soft plastic, such as the shoulder pads and the pant underpants area, those are soft plastics and they're very, very easy to uh, push, the warp, and, and get the paint to come off. If you are someone who has experience with dyeing plastic, like actually putting paint dye in, in hot water and boiling the plastic in it um, to actually let the paint sweep into the plastic itself, that would probably be a much better way to paint some of these, at least the basic, at least the joint areas. So thank you for watching this video. I'm going to have more repaint videos coming out soon and uh, yeah, hope you uh, like my colors. Leave me some comments and some tips on how I can uh, do better. I know I haven't done the best paint job on them. I, I still want them to be action figures and not super detailed paints that some people do with the miniatures. I still want to play around with them and mess around with them. So I don't want to get into every nook and cranny and be like, this is the most detailed thing. No, uh, I'll leave that for miniatures. But for these, I think the most detail put into all of this is probably this one, just to enhance because she's got so much more more the details on the, on the figure compared to the regular Space Marines. My favorite is going to be the uh, Kamen Rider one. But I also really, really enjoy freehanding free painting the locals on these uh, shoulder pads. Even if I did mess up, it was a nice little uh, first time experience for me. So subscribe to you guys and comment below. Let's take care. Have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now.